Oh, no, Coco, man. Oh, boy, Fifi, can I get the whistle there? All right, today I am repping the sons and daughters of Ikaland. My name is Gina, and we are making Okoka, aka corn pudding. Yes, the corn season in um, Ikaland is a very, very beautiful season because everybody is always happy. There's food. If you do not have farm, you don't have to worry, your neighbor will have farm and they cannot finish their corn so they will send to your doorstep and the things we do with corn is either we boil them, roast them or we make opoka with it so I'm showing you how to make opoka today very easy recipe and all you need is corn if it's not fresh, you can still use it alright, we need very good palm oil, pepper to taste, crayfish the fat prawns, the fat prawns, my capital will usually call that a cholo gilite. That means you don't need um, seasoning when you have that a cholo gilite. Yeah. All right, so we have the small crayfish, also known as shrimps, dried shrimps or dried prawns. Yeah, the small one. We have seasoning to your taste, salt to your taste, onions for the neighbor disturbing. Your neighbors have to know that you are making a pork yeah? mm? The onions will help the corn deliver the message. All right, all right, so let's quickly do this. It's so easy to make. Um, you also need a quick bodo, aka moi moi leaf. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> aka moi moi leaf in Lagos. So we need it to wrap it. So for those of you in the diaspora watching me, if you don't have a quick bodo or moi moi leaf, you can use your ramekins, you can use anything that you use for cooking moi moi. It will also help hold your um, corn pudding together. Oh yeah, nice shime. Mm -hmm. So first I'll show you how to the husk of corn. It's very easy. So when you buy your corn, it comes with the husk. You just pull it down. So now that I've dehusked the corn, the next thing I'm going to do is to remove the corn kernel, so that's the corn seed. And you can do it by just running a knife through it like this. Now if it's fresh corn, it's very easy. This is also easy. Just run it across like this to get the kernel off. So I just removed all of this, looking very beautiful. It's easy to remove with your knife. It doesn't take time at all. So after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do now is to, if I was home, I will pound it. I cannot bring my mother to the uh, studio right now. So I'm supposed to just pound it with every other ingredient. Um, if you can't pound, you can use your blender to blend it, or you can use your food processor to process it. But just take note that it doesn't have to be very, very smooth. But even if it's smooth, it's still okay, not a problem. But when it's not too smooth, that's when you feel it, when it's in it, okay? All right, so let's get to the blending part. But I'll be using a food processor. Because I'm using a food processor, I'm going to blend the onion, crayfish, and pepper first before blending the corn. They all need to mix together, so anyhow you want to do it, okay? But I just want the food processor to finish with that one first before I add the corn. Half bulb of a big onion. Then the crayfish. So for most of the foreigners following me, when I say crayfish, I actually mean um, dried shrimps and uh, dried uh, prawns. So the next thing that goes is um, pepper. Pepper, you have to use pepper according to your taste. Some pepper can be very, very hot. Um, some not too hot. So according to your taste and what um, we are looking for. So I'm just going to process it. So the next thing I'll be processing now will be the corn. Add a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so this is ready now and I'll just pour it into this batch. So I'll begin to mix now. Begin to mix, 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 mix. Now, one thing I always say is don't mind on your crayfish when it comes to bokbo. Don't mind on your crayfish. Add crayfish as much as you like. Yeah? It gives it a very good aroma. It gives it a very good taste. That's the one that you are grinding. The next thing that should go in now is palm oil. So I'll begin to season now. Add salt to your taste. I'll be using just one, one um, chicken seasoning. Just one cube today. Just add according to your taste. If you have any other secret seasonings that you use for your food, this is a good time to add them, okay? Alright, so don't cook with your party clothes. If you have to cook with your party clothes, you wear an apron. Alright, because I'm mixing this, the palm oil is actually ruining my, my top. So I have to wear my apron. Now, to garnish your um, opoka or to garnish your pudding, there is no hard and fast rule. I have, we have used fish before. We have used egg before. Crayfish is the normal. So anything you have to garnish, use it. It will not spoil it. Yeah, people will say, no, the conventional one is crayfish. You don't have to follow the norm all the time. If you have smoked fish, it goes well with um, corn pudding. If you have uh, dry fish, it goes well. If you want to add egg, nobody will beat you. If you decide to put sausage, it's your food. All right? Okay, it doesn't really spoil it. But I'll just be using the fat crayfish today in the spirit of quarantine cooking. All right? And the next thing I'm going to do, like I said, is use my moi moi leaf. Fold it in my moi moi leaf. I'm going to cut off the sticks or the stem. The stem, I'll use it to line the pot. Prevent it from burning or when it wants to start burning in case you've forgotten yourself or forgotten that you have something cooking on the fire. The sticks will begin to burn first, so when it gives out that burned aroma, you remember, you come and check your okpo. So just in case you want to ask me, why did you put the sticks first? That's the purpose. So you have to remove the stem, just like this. You don't tear it, just like that. Then, I've done this one already before. You place the two together. You can use one or two, depends. So I'll just show you either one. Place the two together, fold one, one side in, fold the other side to form a cone. Then you, you bend it. So it creates space for you in here. I'll take a cup. Then add some crayfish into it. Cover tightly. And here. So I'm going to clean up here now. By the time I come back, we'll start cooking the corn pudding. Our stick. Some water. I'm going to light it up. And I'll begin to place my corn. In 20 to 30 minutes time, our corn pudding should be ready. So while we're waiting for it, let me quickly read your messages. All right, our last um, post was the yogurt, mango yogurt. My boys love mango yogurt. So, um... I got messages, uh, Francisca Benson says, thanks a lot for the video. Please, can I use full cream milk? And I said, yes, you can use full cream milk. Full cream milk gives you a um, thicker yogurt. Yeah, because I use the skim milk, it's actually children milk. Um, that's why it was runnier. So if you use full cream milk, you get better yogurt. Um, Sadie Smith says, sweet little boy, thank you so much. Nefi Val says, wow, nice one, so yummy. La De Deo says, this is the cutest video I've seen in a while. Your boys are adorable. It is so thoughtful how you included your moms. Yes, it really does take a village to train a child. I'll definitely be trying it out for my baby girl Zoe. She'll love it. Yes, Zoe will love it. My boys love mango yogurt. I do not know why. All right. Thank you all so much for always sending me your messages. 
replicate the recipes i like to see them okay um the vlog i see your message all african kitchen i see your message and nigerian girl thank you so much for your message so we'll wait now for our corn pudding to get ready the aroma coming from this corn pudding the corn the onions the cooking leaves those moi moi leaves they give anything a good aroma so check on it now 30 minutes max this is done but it depends on your pot and the heat now for you to know if it is really really done you have to look at the color of the leaves it leaves from bright green to like gray all right that should tell you another thing is the aroma oh my god the aroma you will just know whether i don't know okay but if you are still confused it's just to pick one So this is actually cooked. It's actually cooked. Where I come from, we do not eat okra with spoon or fork. We eat it with our hands. So, but if you want to use your fork and um, spoon, it's fine. So, but um, we Agborians don't really do that. Confirm. Wow! 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 Oh my god! Oh, so cold, so cold, so cold, so cold, so cold. Yeah, it's so tasty! This is good. This is good. Uh. Okay. Well, well done, done. It's time for us to place it properly and I'll show you the pictures, okay? Okay, I'm taking pictures now and immediately I post this picture, all the people from Ikaland, when they get to see it, they will feel so nostalgic or it will be so nostalgic for them. Yes, Ika people don't joke with Okbo, come put it. Now I'm washing my hands. Like I said, you can use fur, spoon, it's fine, but traditionally we use hands, yeah? And you know, by the time it's cooling, it begins to uh, become more solid like it holds more together so when you cook it the first time and it's still very hot and it's not holding together just allow it um, cool yeah so once it's cooling it holds very well but, but for my people it's like celebration if you cook you have to say like to over seven neighbors everybody you have to send it two to three three five five everywhere so maybe i will send my neighbor one because all the people looking at me right now, the way they are bending their neck. And I didn't cook much today. Alright? So when you cook your own okra, please share to your neighbors. That's how it is enjoyed. If you don't share it, you won't enjoy it. So cook okra, send to your neighbors. That's how it is traditionally done. Love you all so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See you soon. Send me your pictures, okay? Love you so much. Mwah. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipes.